Over the years, she's prosecuted the accused and defended the accused. Now, as this mugshot shows, she is the accused. Per court documents, Allison Hild is up on felony heroin possession, more than 20 grams, and felony cocaine possession, under a gram. Investigators say the drugs were found in her Amberley Village home Monday night, along with weapons, and according to the investigation, a murder suspect, Eric Adams, who was wanted for the recent killing of a young man whose body was found in a parking lot near 71 and Fields Erdl. The Sheriff's Department refers to it as her possible connection to Eric Adams. But I think as the facts develop, you're going to learn it's a little bit different story than initially portrayed. Granted, there are some problems here, but I think it's a lot different than what you think it is. Hild was hired as an assistant prosecutor in 1999 by then-prosecutor Mike Allen. She worked in and out of the courts for eight years as a prosecutor and roughly another eight as a public defender. She has not been charged with harboring a fugitive, at least not yet. I don't think that's an accurate phrase, and I think that will come out as time progresses. Fair to say Fair Oaks Drive, where this week's raid occurred and where an Amberley police vehicle was parked through the day, is not accustomed to a heroin, cocaine, weapons, and murder suspect investigation. <laughs> I have never come in contact with any of those things ever. And I'm sure that most people on the street have never ever come in contact with any of those things. And it's, um, well, you can imagine. It's, um, it's kind of surprising. It, it's, um, it's scary. Allison Hild is free on $325,000 bond. She is due back in court on March 2nd as the grand jury refused the, uh, reviews the charges. The narcotics investigation in which she's accused is not over. Reporting live downtown, John London, WWT News 5.